Hi guys, Harry Sunday here, letting you know that there's a apparel company that supports the game that you love. It's called There Is Only One Football.com, guys. They've got all sorts of stuff from caps, t shirts, water bottles, all sorts of accessories, even for your mobile phone. All that sporting stuff you can wear anywhere you want to wear it, guys. That's right. And don't forget the website it's on There Is Only One Football.com. Frothy's back with me. Frothy, what's happening with these shirts, mate? Uh, Can you look, tell me what's happening yeah, yeah, right shut now? Shut up. Let me talk. Oh, now, bloody listen, hell, mate. We have, uh, we have these great tops here. Yes. Now, uh, it, well, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a two-minute show tonight, I believe. So uh, yes. we're back in town, but we'll be we are. officially back in town on That's Monday right, yeah. with yep, some yep, major yep. announcements. And, uh, start again. Announcements. Yes. Can you spell announcements, can you? Announcements. Can you spell that? Uh, I, I can't spell well, it all. Well, for next time. Now, let's go through the tops. Now, That's these right. yep, tops, yep, yep, yep. Uh, well, if you were born 400 years ago, you'd know about these tops. So we've got the great St. George here, I believe. No, no, have... no, no. Brisbane Lions, mate. Sorry, Bris, that, Brizzy, Brisbane Bri, Lions, Bri, Bri, Brizzy Lions, mate. And we've got South Melbourne Hellas there. No, uh, Fitzroy United, yeah, you're telling me, Fitzroy United. Uh, this one's Inter Monaro, is it? Inter Monaro. No, that's uh, St. George Budapest. St. Apparently. George, yes, the Hungarians. Yeah, and, uh, the Hungarians, mate. And over mate. to my right, which is your right as well, are we still yes. on? Yes. We're still on, we're of still course. On. We're still on. Well, over yes. here, we've got the great Sydney Olympic. Uh, and I know the cat has probably ordered a couple of Oh, those. he's got a, a couple of hundred, mate. Well, I tell you why he's ordered a couple. Uh, I had a chat with uh, Peter Raskopoulos during the week. Oh, he hates his guts. And mm. he said to me, Peter Catholos, a cat, has ordered two because his gut's so bloody big, he needs two jumpers. Really? So, well, look, that's only a joke. Cat, oh, my God, mate. Uh, well, look, also, Canberra, what's this? Canberra City. Canberra City. You know, uh, you know who coached them? Uh, yes. Uh, In 1977? Uh, Frank jo Arrock. Johnny it? Warren. Uh, Johnny Warren. Uh, <laughs> We're laughing, mate, everywhere. I told you so, Johnny Warren said. Uh, I doubt we sell many because how many supporters did they have? That's beside the point. Also, we've got uh, Hokoa up there. The uh, That's great, right, uh, of course, of course. Uh, Brazilian uh, heritage, are they? Yeah, Brazilian. <laughs> well, yeah, a lot of them escaped well, we'll, to Brazil. We'll leave it at that. And, uh, and the great Marconi. Marconi. And let's go through them. Uh, great quality. Of course. They fit nicely. Uh, they are cheap. You know what? They're too bloody $75 cheap. Seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five bucks is plus, not even eighty bucks. Plus postage and handling. And plus postage and handling, and our great friend with uh, David Ben and uh, yes. Arrow Sport. Arrow Sport come, together. Yes, there is only, and then guys, you can buy them on. There is only well, one. You keep football. going. I'll play the great South Melbourne tune. <laughs> there is only one football. Where you can get it from? There is only one so football. Only one dot football com yes, in conjunction is. with Arrow Sport. You can also buy fantastic yes, uh, uh, kits for your teams as well yes. at Arrow Sport, and they're working together to bring you these fantastic yes, 1977 are. Are Phillips one, League. Two. Of course, you're bloody Sorry, on, Frothy. Yep. And of course, yeah. guys, 1977, yes, 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 these yeah, shirts yeah. are fantastic. You've got the other ones at $150, which are the well, Richie Digs, yes, 150 but, and then uh, you've got the sublimated mm, ones yes. at, a, at $75, guys. So, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And can I just say, I, yes. I suppose it's uh, not appropriate to say this. Uh, but my team had a win on the weekend. Uh, yes, they did. Well, not the weekend, a couple of days ago. So, so they're flying, and um, I tell you what, it's pretty much it. Now, are we going to sing a song just to? Uh, uh, well, I can't. We can. We, we can't actually. Show we, we, we can't actually sing a song tonight no, because well, we're just doing matter. the. Uh, we'll, uh, we're just doing the show tonight. Well, that's we'll all. Just advertising the jumpers. Here that's and, right, guys. Um, where are you getting from? Uh, there is only one football. football. That's dot the one there. Um, Say, so guys. Thank you, guys. Get these fantastic shirts right now because you will never find them. 
Good night, guys. Thank you for joining us. See you in a couple of days' time. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Get on Arrow we'll Sport. On Monday, yeah. Arrow Sport. There's only one football.com. We'll we have Paul Wade on. Thank Monday, you, guys. See you. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Be summer we're going to have. Let's see Let's you the What's wrong with you, man? Come it's on, man. party time tonight. Oh, We've got a massive guest here, guys. Oh, is losing it right now for you. Now. Let's sing this song for you. Yeah, it's Football is Live from Australia, the Northern Territory, wherever you are, all over the world, USA, Great Britain. It's party time with Football is. It's all happening. Well, what a special guest. We'll tell you who he's in a minute, guys. Yeah, huh? Hold on. Here we go. Here, yeah, huh? here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, check it out. Here we go. Right, let me just put this over here. The cup of, of life. This is the one. This is the one. Now listen up. Now Don't is the time. Stop. Don't ever stop. We shouldn't know. Here we go with the... Uh, uh, hold on, let me get this right. Uh, we shouldn't know. Look right here, from the it, top. That's the one. And when you Look feel your the heat, tune. the world is at your feet. No one can hold you back if you really want it. I see it in your eyes. You want the cup of life. She bangs. Not the days yeah, here. You're gonna get it. Do you really want it? Do you return me right now, people? Yeah, here yeah, we you go. Ali, Ali, Ali. Go, go, go. Guys, we are the people. We are the passion. Yeah, we, are we are the history. We are the people from the NSL. And we don't care what anybody says. We're still in the NSL. And it's party time in the NSL today. Frothy, ah. it's our way, the highway, Frothy. Our way, the highway, Frothy. Please tell me what's happening. I'm going to speak to right. guest here right now. What we, a guest we got tonight, gonna, man. Yes, we're going to get to the guest in a second. <laughs> they're laughing at us again, then mate. Why What's going on? I haven't said what mate. I'm about to say. That's the problem. Now, listen, uh, there's a reason why. There's two yes. reasons why yeah, I, I chose to wear this. Uh, I think they call it a hoodie these days. A hoodie? A hoodie? You're, You're a hooder. You're a hood. Yeah. Well, I'm in the hood tonight. You're a hood, uh, yeah. He's a hood. Uh, now, there's two reasons. Uh, well, the closest thing I get to red, uh, loop chair. Uh, <laughs> did I say that right? Perfect. So many Loop chair. That's the closest thing I get to red. And also, uh, uh, just a special mention, Harry, there's a member out there tonight. Uh, are, are we on? We're, of course we're on. A lot of people uh, coming on yeah, tonight. A lot of people coming on. Excellent. Uh, look, players. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot look, of them. Now, now, shut up. Let me talk. Gosh, now, there's a, uh, there's a member tonight. Um, it's a she. She's not doing very well tonight. There's oh, okay. a few issues. I, get you. Um, in the, uh, I, I can't say her name, but I know her very well. And I think you might know her too. Of course I do. So there's a few, there's a bit of dramas in the uh, in her life at the moment. In the uh, and I, I, I had some contact today and I yes, said, yes, look, yes. you know, we all have issues in life. We all got to get over them and That's uh, right. get on. And um, so football less like to wish her... Uh, wish her a, uh, a, 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 a speedy recovery. A, a speedy recovery. That's because, right, yes. Um, it, it'll all get better in time. Now, uh, first of all, uh, may I say this? Let me just get straight to the top here. Now, Mark Bosnich, Gordon Banks, Ray Clements... Step aside because we've got the great man here. We've got a goalkeeper right here. Good chair. Louis, Louis, Asetsky. Louis now, Asetsky, that deserves Louis. a round of applause. Now hit the button, would you? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome, Louis. Welcome, Louis. Thanks, gents. Thank you. Mate, this is a show with a difference, as you can see. Yep. We and he, and he blows his horn very hard, as you can see right now, Louis. Well, now, Louis, 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 Louis we've got that many people come on here right now. A lot we of people yes, recognise you from the NSL yes. days. Absolutely. Now, this is what our show is all about. It's about nostalgia, yeah, the real the game. Yeah. You know the real game, don't yeah, you? Yeah. The real NSL. game. NSL, Louis knows it. Right. Now, Louis, Great we're going to go back to the days. Okay. Now, you're a coach. You've been coaching. Oh, we, I could say this, this, is, this is one of the foundation clubs of the NSL. We are talking here Preston Lions. Now, you guys have been around for how many years? Over, over 60 years now. A long time. 75 years this year. My God, Louis. Gee, wow. What a club. And the thing is, there's Chris Philippou, one of the uh, members of... Uh, there he is listening to us right now from uh, Preston Lions. Here he is. Preston Lions. You've got yes. a few supporters here tonight, Louis. So you're going to be talking to a lot of people from Preston. Uh, yes, yes. Now, we're going to go back to the beginning of your, your career. You must have... Wow. Now, I want to say something. Why a goalkeeper? What was the reason for a goalkeeper? Well, can I answer that for him? Here we go. He'll know the answer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you better know the answer because well, a lot of people are watching. Look, the goalkeeper, apparently, is the easiest job in the park. Really? Look, there is no running. You don't have to be fit. You don't even have to rock up training. You just rock up on the day and you can go until you're 80 years old. They're swearing now, at you right now. Well, why are they swearing at me for? <laughs> I reckon, uh, well, I was a goalkeeper at school uh, it, because it could be stuffed training. I said, I'll just chuck myself in goal there. Had to do bugger all. The team was so good. Uh, loop chair, I think it is. Sorry. <laughs> Louis, just say Louis for God's no, sake. No, he likes loop chair. <laughs> and uh, our team was so good, mate. I 
probably got one or two touches during a game. So they made me look like a superstar. Now, what is your reason? Pretty much identical to what you just said. Though. Well, there you go. As a young boy, they they um, at ah. school they put the the fattest kid in there. Oh no, the one that couldn't run. Me. Um, and and they did it to me too. Yeah. So hence, <laughs> why you? They put me. Look, they fat on him. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. That's what bloody happens to us, mate. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Basically, being lazy, etc. And uh, I think I was about nine or ten years old. Um, I, I was a player at the beginning. And then uh, our goalkeeper couldn't come to one of our games. So they asked for a volunteer. And I put my hand up because I couldn't bother running that game. <laughs> and um, never looked back after that. Uh, that was so easy. So easy to say that. And it's like, you don't have to, you have to be complicated. In goals, that's it. Is that right? That's it. That's Too exactly, easy. Oh, exactly. He, Rothy. He's right. And uh, congratulations. You made it to the Melbourne victory. But uh, <laughs> lucky you didn't play a game for them. And I reckon that's an achievement. Because why would you want to play for those guys? Now, was the money good there? Oh, no. Oh, did no. they pay you? I mean, you, you didn't play one game. But did they pay you at least? You went to training, I suppose. paid you. That was a very short-term replacement for what, Melbourne. What, a couple literally. of hours, wasn't it? But literally. Uh, about six <laughs> weeks. If you tell me times weeks. that by 24 hours. Yeah. Um, Back ooh, 2008, Eight, I think it was, yes. Uh, Michael Theoklitos, who was the number one choice goalkeeper. Michael Michael Theo, yes. you, you, you know yep. him for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yes. he uh, got red carded in the game. And um, that young uh, Langerak, Mitch Langerak. Mitch yes. Langerak. So uh, Ernie Merrick was coach. Gary Cole was football operations. We've had Gary Steve Cole. Steve Morton. Yeah. So these are the old NSL boys. Yes. yes. Uh, um, yeah, they called me up to help him out for a few weeks. And I was there for six weeks, end of the day. And... Um, Good time, six weeks. Got a good uh, six weeks, yeah. Bit of an in, uh, good excursion. So you got paid big bickies, and he didn't even play one minute. I didn't get paid big bickies, <laughs> but I, I didn't right. play a minute at all. As well. <laughs> but you, you, you were there at the right time when there's bloody fifty thousand people and stuff like that. Yeah, My it was God, good. It was good, well, yeah. what do you expect? Half the South Melbourne squad was there. <laughs> oh, he no, just no, mentioned Steve Mortone. He mentioned uh, 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 Michael Theo these days. Of course he was. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And, Kevin uh, Musket. Uh, Kevin oh, Musket. Uh, oh, yes, don't talk about uh, the leg breaker. Yeah, yes, he was. Spits every day. Well, he's spitting every day. He's a spitter. Yes, he's a spitter, but. Uh, now, uh, listen, uh, Luke, no, I've got to get, sorry, I've got to get this Louis. right. That's Louis. Well, well, let's call him Louis tonight. That's uh, it, nice and easy. Now, I like to do a uh, comparison, NSL A-League, yep. and I'm going for goalkeepers tonight. And mm, uh, oh, yeah. you might know this guy here. His name is Phil Trionides. Yep. Now, you remember Phil Trionides' stance and the ball used to come. He had his right hand and he had his index finger pointing to his backside. Do you remember that? <laughs> he had a that? funny stance, uh, yeah. Phil Trionides, which yeah. he did. I, Very I, I, unorthodox. Yes, so I'm, I'm comparing Phil Trionides with uh, Redmayne from the Smurfs. Oh, my okay. God. Who would you pick at Preston right now if they were both available? Phil Trionides every day of the week. You're joking. Why? Um, Tell us why. I, I grew up watching Phil at Preston back in the you day. You would have, yes. He was my hero as a goalkeeper. Phil was a very, very uh, athletic goalkeeper. Um, I remember... Back in 80s, 90s, uh, Phil was one of the main reasons when Preston was doing well back in the old National Soccer League. That's he was right. one of the main reasons why he did that. Uh, not discrediting uh, Mr. Redmayne, but I don't know much about him. So well, I've got to pick the one to, that I know about. Who wants to know about uh, that, those guys? <laughs> those well, the it's the A-League these days. Harry Gannisell is dead, or have you forgotten uh, no, no, Harry? No, no, well, I'm not. He I'm died not, about 16 I'm years the NSL, ago, mate. Have a look at this, mate. Well, you might be, but uh, you're the only thing that's now, going on with the bloody NSL now. Let's, let's get on with this. Now, yes, let's start the history. Now, the his your let's history of playing the game, of course, you weren't a goalkeeper at the beginning there, uh, Louis. Yep. Now, the thing is, how did you get in there? Was it because of... Of course, our parents, you being European, they pushed us into playing the game. Was it the same situation? They pushed you to play and that sort of stuff? Uh, parents, no. Uh, my mother's brothers <laughs> played uh, football or soccer back then. Yes. And, um, soccer. I used to go watch them. Soccer. Football, sorry. We, 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 our sponsor, da David he gets upset. Ben. He charges the show $5 every time someone oh, says the word Jesus. soccer. So we go back to $10 football, now. Yeah. That's 10 bucks football. now. We'll, we'll call it football, football tonight. Football. Yeah, did we? So, um, yeah. Pocket, that's why. <laughs> no um, problems. I'll help towards that. Yeah. <laughs> the uncles uh, played the game back in the day, and I used yes. to go watch them every Saturday. And um, one was a coach, one was a player, and they yes. got me to the game. And then um, eventually, yeah, so I started my footballing career back then. Football, thank you very much. Fantastic. Yep. So um, they they were the, mine, the main... Uh, people that influenced me now, to start the game. Your junior, you, the juniors you played with, there must have been a junior club with, uh, was Absolutely. it Preston at the beginning or was it a no. different club? Okay, so first footballing junior club was Green Gully for one year. Wow, Green Gully. There the Gully. Go. Oh my God. 
Then from there, I went to a club called Sunshine Park, which is Brimbank. Brimbank, yes, 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 I've heard of them. So I think I played there about two or three years. Um, back at Sunshine Park, Joe Tricari came. Was yes, it? remember him well. Morwell Falcons and Carlson, yes, yes. etc. He played his dinners there as, as well, well. I think. Um, with a, Joe Palazzini's apparently. What's that? With, he played along with Joe Palazzini. Remember because, Joe Palazzini's? Yeah, of course, of course I do. Yes, uh, um, another South Melbourne player, Harry. Correct. Oh, I don't worry about them. <laughs> I don't care about them anyway. So from there, um, Sunshine Park a couple of years, and then I went to St Albans uh, Dynamo back in the day. They yes. Were called. So, yes. Um, and that's where my junior career, meaning I started to establish myself as a goalkeeper. I think I was 12, 13, 14, 15, and then I played a senior game at 15. I think Les Carter Jesus, was coached back in the day. Oh my God, 15. Les yeah. Carter. You would have been one of the youngest players playing as a goalkeeper. Yeah, I think it was. Um, it could have been a, my first game in a practice game against Jeez. Sunbury back in, if I remember okay. correctly, and yep. then 16 was my first. League game. I came on against Albion Rovers. Albion, okay. Yeah. Albion Rovers. So you you went from St Albans to Preston. Yep. Uh, and now that's the first uh, NSL club. That correct. You played for exactly right. So, Back in 1997. So 1997, you would have had players there like my God, man. Players uh, there you would have played with. Uh, they were coming to the end of their careers. Yeah, well, they, they weren't in the NSL then. They were already finished from the NSL. Okay, they, they went back done. to the... Yes, yes, back to the yes, BPL yes. back then. Yes, yes. Uh, but Warren Spink played with us yes. back Warren in the day. And we know who he is. Yes, Socceroo. Sid, uh, one of the most beautiful people we meet off the ground. And what a footballer. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And um, we had a few players. Um, a spinkster. Yeah, Goran Lozanovsky played with us. Oh, Loza. Loza. Yeah, he Mate, he us. hates us. <laughs> you don't know what I like. Well, we love him. We do love How's him. That? Yeah. Now, who else was there that was sort of like a ex-NSL playing for? Mate, you had that many players. We had a guy here called George Campbell. Yes, George You know George Campbell? Campbell. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Mate, yeah. He, yeah. he's been in the studio and everything. We had Gary Cole as well. Yeah. He's, these are yeah. guys that are playing. Craig we're Johnson. Ta- we've had Craig oh, Johnson. We're talking here about uh, we've uh, had the Cosie. Lions. Yeah, uh, but we're talking about the Lions. Cosy, I must admit, we He's made a top error. He's We love him. We made we an love error him, having mate. him on. He, uh, he hates us completely. He nearly <laughs> fell asleep. And there, I was... There's some big names there, guys. So of what course. did you get me on for? Yes, well, because yes. we, want, we want to know. <laughs> oh, you're we, another big name. There's a big, just took time to track you down. There's a big thing tonight about uh, you guys are, are, are going places, apparently. Well, I've got a few things to ask well, you. Well, now, well, Now, when you went from... Then you went to Melbourne Knights, my yep. God. Melbourne Knights, uh, 2000, I think it was, 99, 2000 was my first stint at the Knights. Uh, Vlado Vanish was coach, uh, NSL days. So I went there, I think I, that was the second half of the year. And then my first full season was 2000, 2001 with Melbourne Knights. And again, Vlado Vanish was our coach. Um, that year, we had some really good players. Um, uh, you know, we had players like uh, Toto da Costa that came from Holland, who was a, was a gun. Joel uh, Porter. Um, we had players like, you know, Sasha Ogonofsky, oh, Roddy, Roddy Vargas, yes. oh, Roddy Vargas yeah. Andy Vargas, um, Alex Kiridzoglu, another South Melbourne yes. boy. And yes, Stabber, yes. was Stabber there those days? That's when Carlton went defunct. Yeah, oh, yeah. So okay, they, yeah. They pulled a pin on Carlton and uh, Stabber, he came uh, back. Steve Horvat, Lubo Lepshansky and oh Daniel Veselevsky made the, yes, the trip all... to Summer Street back then. Jeez, in that year. They so did, yes. Uh, we had a good great team, year. Uh, we had a really that good year. Yeah, yeah. Really some Socceroos there too, my God. Man. Yeah, oh, well, and one stand out there yourself. And why did you just give me the bird for, Harry? I, I, <laughs> oh, you I give me the, 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 the bloody pin, mate. Oh, That's so you give me the bird. <laughs> I'll give you the bird in a minute. Here you go. <laughs> oh, stop laughing out there. We're just thinking. Now... You went to a club after that called Northern Spirit. Now, come on. That, that club... The Spirit. That club was put together... And that's a story, that club. That club was put together via a Scottish club. Robbie Slater. You're wasn't talking it? about bloody those Rangers down there in Scotland. Is that right? They were, they were sort of like trying to find players in Australia to bring over to Scotland as a development squad. Nearly had a that didn't work, did it? Yeah, look, uh, Rangers Football Club. Yes. In Scotland. Frankie. Yes, really, yes. Um, had their... Uh, they tried to put the fingers in the pie, so to speak, yes. and come into Super the NSL and, um, and, and put things together. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, five or six, you want to get back then, then, just before I went, he talked too much. Sorry about that. He does talk too much. He talks too much. You enjoyed the interview. I'll just talk to you. A can of beer here, mate. You're not going to give me one of those. You can't talk No, you can't talk That's right. Well, shall I go and get him one, Harry? Just go to the bottle shop. I'll be about half an hour. I'll drink this stuff. What is this? Coke, no, sugar cane. That's, uh, that's Harry Christ. Coke. That one. That's oh, the that one that makes you skinny. Oh, Can't no, you see? Now, yeah. <laughs> Northern Spirit yeah. was a. Cl- now you would have been there when the, there's a lot of guys playing. They, they brought everybody around from all the other clubs to make that club. You would have had like was it was it uh, uh, 
the coach of bloody Australia. What's his name? We we call him. Uh, you, you know, you know, we call him. No, no, no. Worse than that, we call him. We call. Him. What you know that bloody? What's his name? Uh, Arnold, you know, Benedict Arnold. Benedict Arnold. Was we he call him Benedict the Arnold. Then? No, no, he, he wasn't. Was there. No, was he, he there? wasn't. He was prior to me. Mick Hickman. Was Mick oh, Hickman, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. We uh, remember Mick. John Paul de Marini was assistant yes, coach. Yes, yes. He, did, yep, he was assistant with uh, Musket back in the day at the Victory. Yeah, correct. Two he very was. angry people, mate. JP, Why yeah. are they so angry, those two? JP's a really nice bloke. and so He might be, but on TV he looks very angry, my uh, boy. That's part of the act, I think. He's been doing it. Yeah, yeah so. Fair enough. So what right. was it like at Northern Spirit as a, as a, as a goalkeeper there? Um, great experience. Exposed me to the real world of football. Um, political world of football. Oh, Jesus. Um, yes, the old politics. We know Craig politics. Foster was playing. Oh, uh, Chichi Foster. Mendes. Robert Ennis. Pablo Cardozo. Jesus. Uh, some big names back there. We had a, we had a really good squad. Well, Robbie Slater was there when you were there. No, Abbasad. No. Abbasad. Abbasad. Abbas no, no, Abbas he's gone. Wasn't no. He was already gone at that stage. No, no. We had a, Robbie Trojkovsky was there. Um, so we had a lot of good players. We got a lot of good footballers. Um, and then Mick Hickman was gone, and then Laurie McKenna came in. Oh, Laurie! Year after. How could you understand the way he was talking? Nah, could Laurie's, you understand the way he spoke to you? Laurie's a gentleman, absolute <laughs> gentleman. He is God a gentleman. Yep, yeah. we made him on a show. We are. We had, uh, Laurie McKenna. We're, we're going to get him one day well, soon. Well, well, let's get now, him too. Let's get him all one. Mate. From Northern, Sp- you, you went from extreme to extreme here. You, you, you're talking <laughs> yeah, about here, yeah. not the t- t- Sydney to bloody Adelaide. How were you yeah. travelling, man? Well, they get, were they paying for your airfares or what? Put him on a plane. What was going on here, man? It's Adelaide City. Not yeah, there. look, Northern Spirit didn't work out. Look, uh, Melbourne Knights had a phenomenal time. Yes, yes. Uh, and Melbourne Knights, uh, I can say it openly at the moment, or now, down uh, when I turned 45 yep, years yep, of age, yep. I got paid mixed lollies to play football. Jesus, uh, wow. Oh, and that's they gave me the opportunity to break into the NSL. So well, that's was, good, of course. Uh, very thankful for them. Uh, Northern Spirit offered me a little bit more money, and unfortunately... Uh, I, I believe I made the wrong decision as a footballer and I went for a little bit more money than Well, I, I agree. Have. You should have taken the offer of South Melbourne, my boy. <laughs> uh, now, why did you knock that back? Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I can. That's because they never made me an offer. So, oh, really? Well, that's fair enough. There you go. That's, um, that's where that went. And from Northern Spirit, I got a phone call from the one and only, which is Zoran Matic. Oh, mate, he was the legend there, mate. He was there forever, that bloke, yeah. that coach. And when Zoran big, big made name. a phone call, I, um, I jumped at the opportunity I wanted to work with. Um, one of the biggest reputations in, oh, in coaching history in Australian football and sorry, managed. So I took, as you said, the next plane trip out and uh, I went to Adelaide and uh, I went uh, 2002, the second half of the year in, uh, in, uh, in Adelaide City. And again, we had a great season. Um, we finished off the season really well. Aurelio Vidmar, Jeez. Um, Claudio Pelosi, Goran Lozanovsky, oh, Shane God. Smell, Gee. Carl Viet. Oh. That was some of the teammates. Socceroos, man. All yeah. Socceroos too. So phenomenal people, phenomenal club. Uh, really enjoyed my time there. And you know what? This next club here that you went to, Heidelberg United. Heidelberg United. Then you went from Adelaide back to Melbourne. Yep. And basically you went for this. these colours behind me. Yep. That is the colours you wore. Yep. Correct. Frothy, it's not broken, okay? Sorry about that. <laughs> now, how did you go at the... Now, who's your coach at that time? Okay, so... At... He's doing it again. He blows yes. too hard. He blows too hard. That's enough, Frothy. Sorry about that. The uh, batteries uh, are going flat. He gets carried away, away, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. yeah uh, uh, Adelaide well, City. His favourite tune, I suppose. I mean, it's... I must love that tune. I mean, you, you must Frothy. get goosebumps when you hear that tune it, when you play South Melbourne. It did um, impact it, me. It, it definitely it, did. It, it, it traumatised me. Because it, it, it was a bit of passion from the crowd. Uh, traumatised me, mate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we remember the days of the brawl. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, the burning of the flags and oh, uh, no, that. Well, well, that were the good old days. The past, there was the history. passion there. Heidelberg United. There was people NSL. put in comas. There was fires. There was police. Oh, uh, it was all happening back in the day. I mean, at least there was something I going on. I think you have your drink there. I right, mean, you go to the A's. We're, we're, we're all burning up. Sweat, yeah, we're yeah. burning up. I'm burning up well, too. Look, the you go to the games now, oh, and Jesus. it's just um, apparently a game two weeks ago um, attracted 639 people. <laughs> now, I bet uh, you guys attract oh, way more than that, and you're. A, a league lower. I mean, what what is going on with the A League? Am I answering your question? Or answer, well, you can answer yeah, mine. Yeah. Question Since okay. I have your attention, no probs. Uh, all I can comment is on what Preston's getting at the moment, and we're getting way more. Oh, I know people. that more than six hundred thirty-nine people. Uh, Four thousand. 
then Central Coast, exactly. then Newcastle, That's then right. Melbourne City. And the Ninjas, the Western United Ninjas, well, 600. They get yeah, bugger all yeah, too, so I suppose. Yeah, so we got about uh, just under 5,000 people in that wow. game That's right. a few weeks ago. Well, that so. deserves a round of applause. Hit the button. Yeah, my word, mate. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Teams, this these leagues are going to attract that many people. I, I have the questions for that very shortly. And it's all because of the coach, apparently. Oh, yeah. Well, it's all because of me. Mate, well, it's got to be. I mean, yeah. your, your guiding success, it's called success. these players to play a brand of football. I nearly said the word soccer. Sorry, about that. What, is he going to charge of that? I nearly That's said it. No, don't, don't say that. Well, he, he's getting and playing a particular uh, game that the, people are rocking up, Harry. The coach and is that's there. what it's all about. If your players aren't performing, there's two things. A coach is no good and a player is no good. But if the team is performing... And the coach is doing it well. Credit to this guy right, here, exactly. mate. Uh, it's it, and you know what, goalkeeper goalkeeper coaches get no recognition in this country. You you rarely it's hear true. It's all true. a coach that was a goalkeeper. Yep. Why I don't know why, but um, there has to be more of it because there's some great goalkeepers along with yourself that have yep. played here. We've never seen that. And have we? you, you don't We've see them coaching anywhere. No, we haven't. We haven't. I, no. Even the great Dino Zoff, who was such a bloody yeah, good tactician, Zoff? never got a yes. never got a coaching gig. Did he? He's still alive, Dino Zoff. He'd be one hundred and six on it. Somewhere that's right. We know him very well. Now Heidelberg United, your Heidelberg. coach at that time. Okay, Heidelberg United was the old v, uh, Victorian Premier League back yep, then. Yep, uh, yep. Well, actually, Adelaide City was my final year in the National Soccer League, and yep. that's when the NSL fell apart. So there's no yes. more NSL. Yes, yes. Uh, my footballing career was touch and go at that stage. Do I play football or do I give the game up? I got a little bit disillusioned with the game. So you went to play billiards or something, did you? What, what I happened? tried that for a couple of months. That didn't work. Or table tennis yeah. or badminton? <laughs> oh, my God. I think it's called work. I tried actually you, work. You tried to get... Okay, yeah. well, that's fair enough. Yeah. That would have paid you more money working, I suppose. Oh, definitely. I think it was about eight bucks an hour <laughs> so, back then, so it was good. Um, Heidelberg and Phil Stubbins. Yes, we know Phil. Phil Stubbins. Uh, we know Phil. Yes, we, we know, know Phil quite well. Phil he gave me a call us. and he, he sort of brought me out of semi-retirement then and I was only uh, 25 at that stage and he well, said what no, the hell were you thinking of 25 and you were thinking very, of retirement very what's stupid, going on there isn't it? very stupid of me well I wouldn't call it stupid I'd say there was a wrong decision you had another 10 years as a keeper uh, well, that's what I... You could have represented stage, this great club here, Lou, behind you. You never know. You never Along with <laughs> Brisbane, <laughs> Brisbane Lions, yeah. yeah. Well, the old Brisbane Lions, yeah. So, um, yeah, Phil, look, said, come down and have a kick. I went and had a kick. I spent three really good years at uh, Heidelberg. Um, and again... The Burgers. Uh, Combucianus. Oh, oh, Billy Damianos. They all played there. Robert Lipperotti. Jesus. Joe Tricarico. Um, some really, really good... Eric Vassiliadis. Yes. Uh, some really, really good footballers back there. Frosty, any, any else before we get to... Well, he just mentioned uh, more South Melbourne greats there, oh, but no, there's no, one... No, no. There, look, there is. That. let's leave oh. South Melbourne out of this because it's Preston night tonight, and uh, there is one player that I remember well, and you would remember him very well too, uh, probably one of the... I reckon he'd be in the top three midfielders that come and play on, on this... On, on Aussie soil would be... Now, let me see if I can get this right. Zarko or oh, Zarko Jarko. or something, isn't it? Zarko, Zarko. Yeah. That's what the a, one. What, yeah. a, what a player. Now, that guy was magic. Did but, you play with him? No, he's slightly older than me. Uh, that next generation up, so, next so generation, to speak. Yeah. He was a footballer that very hard to come across these shores these days. Correct. Um, tactically, technically, he was phenomenal. Absolutely brilliant footballer. So one of the biggest imports to come across from, um, from overseas back then. And uh, he played um, some incredible football and uh, a lot of young kids learned from him. Well, it's, uh, you could almost say he was the Aussie Zidane. Yeah, well, back mm -hmm. then he was, definitely. Um, I, would, I wouldn't put him in the same boat, but to be playing here with that skill level, yep. that football I nearly said it again, football, football brain, brain, he was a Zidane of Australia. Yep, yep. Uh, he made other midfielders look pretty ordinary. Yep. I remember that well, and um, he ran rings around uh, Wadey once, and Wadey was oh, not uh, an easy uh, bloke to get oh, around. They were teammates at one stage too, uh, Australia. Yeah. Well, quite possibly, yeah. They were. They, they, were, they, they, were. they, they would have been. But, uh, and also, we've had Combutsiana. But, uh, Butsianis. That, sorry about that. B B Butsianis. Butsi. Uh, but, well, but, what, what is it Butsi for? Is, they call him Butsi, or, 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 Is that a nickname know. or something? Uh, we've had him on the show, too. Yeah, and yeah. Um, he does he loves own, us uh, coaching too. clinics now. Yeah, he does, yep. And he's one to get down at Preston, mate, because yep. I'll tell you what. The loop chair and con show would <laughs> improve Preston. Definitely mate. He so. might win it. Now, where do you sit on the ladder these days? They're up the top, man. Yeah, we're, we're equal first at the moment. Right. I'm only five games in. Well, equal first. Uh, now, uh, now you did a, that's a credit to the coach, Harry. And this is <laughs> important. No and this is something that, that 
Louis here would be, oh, this is the one. FK Siad Most in Czechos- Czech Republic or yep. Czech Republic? Czech Republic. You yeah. went overseas to yep. play, yep. and I want to know who, the religion of the game in that country. You would have been like, was it a few hundred thousand or thousands? And oh my God, man. No, um, so Czech Republic, uh, Slavia Prague, Sparta Prague. Oh my God, big names. Um, the support base was huge. Oh. It was un- unbelievable. So like this man, yeah. exactly. constantly singing, chanting. Exactly. The horns everywhere. The horns everywhere. Um, yes. I think my first game in the Czech Republic was called uh, against a club called Banik Ostrava. Um, we, I came out, we warmed up, and I always tell this story to, to people that want to listen to me, unfortunately, for them. Yes, no. um, We're all we came out, we warmed up, and I sort of looked around the grandstand, and there's a few people here and there, and I've gone, okay, what's going on today? First game for the club, and I was pretty excited. Uh, warmed up, and then we went in the change rooms, and you know the referees came in, they said, 10 minutes, and we have to all be out, we have to line up, etc. When I walked out with the teams at the tunnel, there was, I'm not exaggerating, there was about 50 flares going I crazy. So. Stadium was full. Oh. Stadium was chanting, singing. I had goosebumps walking Man, out. Football I'm, paradise. I walked out and thought, this is what I play this game for. This is the reason and, why I'm known and what To go about. from the NSL and, and then to see how many thousand, just a few thousand, yep. and then coming to see a packed stadium, yep. and they're screaming and shouting. What, 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 how did you feel inside? I was like, oh, what am I going to do? Am I nervous? What am I going to do here? I was... Um, no, I wasn't nervous. I was ecstatic. I was, it was the dream that Mate. I always had. And I, I thought, Absolutely. wow, I've, I've finally achieved what I wanted to achieve in football and playing in front of crowds in, in a European country. Overseas, so yeah. um, that was uh, a great memory. Uh, the result wasn't great. We won't talk about that. Um, but it was just a phenomenal experience. And uh, I had a three-year contract in Czech Republic. Jeez, and I, I only lasted nine months. But to uh, be there nine months was it a lifetime for you, for sure. Uh, well, it's it's mate, something that you know you I cherish for the rest of my life. And uh, every time I speak to a young boy, and I tell him that I actually went to the Czech Republic from the old VPL. I went to Preston. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so I went from semi-professional training three times a week to training twice a day. Uh, sorry, three times a day in pre-season. Um, it was just. Unbelievable. He's experience. talking about a, a job that was full time in, in the game there. Non-stop. Well, you were you were doing part, you were part playing part timer and working during the day. Spot where on. you turned up there saying, "This is my job now. Every day's football, and that's it. Done. That's Finish. exactly what happened. Exactly Unbelievable. What happened. Frothy. Uh, yes. Are we on? Are we? Yes, we're on. You <laughs> still here, mate? Uh, now, now look, don't worry. You can tell us about the bad time and the check, mate. There's, there's no, nobody watches the shows. That's only us. Oh, that's it. rubbish. So you can run us through it. So they paid you well there, did they? Or what's the go there? Or did they pay, pay you I, nothing? I got paid well. At the you got paid well. Eventually. Well, you had a good time. Eventually. That's, well, that, that's all that matters. Eventually. Uh, now, now listen, uh, we got uh, we got a prize for you. you look, usually we don't. Uh, yep. I'm going to do a 30 second shot clock at you, mate. And. Okay. Um, I've got some quick questions. We need some quick answers. Sure. You have 30 seconds. Harry, start the, the clock. Bu- the button. And um, the, I'll tell you, the look, you've got to beat 14 seconds. Now, good luck with that. Oh, he's back. Uh, that crow's back. Get the bloody uh, shoot the bastard, mate. Over. Shoot, shoot the, the bloody. That's what happens to us, Louis. You might have heard, heard him in the other show. Yeah, yeah. Come. He comes and goes. Well, Harry, can you please book him for a Tuesday oh, when we're not here? I can't get rid of the I mean, You know, you always get the bastard on a Monday. Oh, no, and now, here we go. Uh, let, let's see if you can... Uh, 14 seconds is the time to beat. The button. Yeah. Uh, start the clock, thank you. Uh, now, for you, uh, dogs or cats? Dogs. Uh, fair enough. Uh, Favourite movie? Rocky. Uh, Rocky. Uh, Harry... Uh, no, don't stop the clock. No, no. Uh, hardest opponent? Uh, Damien Murray. Ooh. Damien Murray. He was a hard opponent. Are you giving me 14 seconds? Or uh, just get, get on with it. Okay. Stop the clock. Now, why would you say <laughs> Damien Murray for? Because every time he got the ball, you, you figured he's going to put one past me? Because he did score past me every <laughs> time. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Start that's the <laughs> clock. How do you <laughs> like your steak? Medium to well. Uh, coffee or tea for you? Coffee. Best player of all time? Uh, in the world, Mar- Diego Maradona. How are we going for time, Harry? we got a few more seconds. Yep. Uh, Twitter or Instagram for you? Loop chair? Twitter. Uh, vanilla or chocolate? Uh, vanilla. Now, we had to get rid of this question. Uh, stop the clock, Harry. Yeah, we no. have to explain this because a DH... What was that? That yeah. was a, that was a, that was the button. Changes ah, all the time. Fair enough. We'll but we've stopped the clock. the clock, so don't stress. You're on 12 seconds. You've got two seconds to go. Uh, look, we had to get rid of this question. It was a corona question, real or not real. Yeah. Uh, DHS sent us a nasty email, so I had to get rid of that. So the next question will be start the <laughs> clock. Thank you very okay. much. Uh, mm. uh, for you, blondes or brunettes? Mm. Now, I don't know if you're married. Brunettes. But that, fair enough, but... 
his wife must be a brunette. Yes, yeah, definitely. She, she said the right thing. Said the right thing. Uh, there. Well, there you she go. won't let me in the house. Uh, no, well, that's fair enough. Uh, disco or rock and roll for you, loop chair? Disco. Now, Harry, how did we go for time? He, was, uh, he beat. He beat the clock. He, uh, what, what was it? Thirteen seconds was it? About that. Thirteen. <laughs> all right. Well, thirteen seconds. First of all, there you get the prize, and all we have. Uh, there's only actually, one football actually, cap. Actually, that's for you uh, from our sponsor. And there, there you uh, go. Louis. It's brand new. It's not worn. Yep. So you can have that. It actually there. matches your at your tracksuit. Uh, yeah. We've it also does. got something else for you. You can have a. Uh, no, don't give them that one. Go well, on. It's a second-hand beanie. It's a Brisbane. It's Queensland raw one. You can have <laughs> oh, that if you like. That's yours. But look, I've never washed it. Do you want me to wash it first? No, no, it's okay. So now. You like me like yeah. that. Now, well, that's yours too, so we'll leave that there. And, uh, Thank you. He's got two prizes there, Harry. Uh, so, well, there you go. We, 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 well, it's about time we had a bloody winner, I'll tell you. Exactly, exactly. Now, I'm going to ask you this question. This is, as you said before, the amount of people that I've seen online, I am following, always following Preston Lions, right? Yep. The people that you get, the families that come to the games, that is enormous stuff because when you get the families back... You've got all your supporters back. Is that right? Correct, 100%. So how, how are you guys handling so many people? How are you, you you're, you're, you know, when, you, when you're playing at home, do you have enough catering for them? This is, this is massive. We, the committee itself is uh, really handling the situation as well. The yep, volunteers, yep. the chefs, the cooks, the people that are taking the orders, they're trying to accommodate for everybody. This is amazing. Um, 30% of our supporters are women. Jeez. So we've, wow. we've, we've changed the orientation of football Back in the day, it was all men. Uh, we want families. We want kids. Yes, we no, want a great I, environment. I, let me just say this, uh, uh, Loop Chair. Louis. <laughs> uh, back in the day, there's a lot of angry men there, I noticed. Um, that's, and, you know why that's the I, case, I don't yeah. know why they were angry, but why because, were they angry? Because they weren't allowed to talk at home with the missus, so that's why they used to go and just let it rip it. Oh, well, there. fair enough. Is that, that would have been the Greek problem as well. Your mob, <laughs> South Melbourne, Harry. I don't know these people anymore, mate. I'm bloody these blokes here. Who are you with these days? I've changed, you mate. You're the burgers, are you? I am the burger, mate. Yeah, I'm yeah, the burgers too. Yeah, but well, you can see you've had a few burgers <laughs> lately. Oh, bloody hell, mate. Now, to be able to, to, to say, you know, I've never seen crowds like your crowds. Yep. I've been to your, I have been to your games. Oh, I've, I, I've been there. Yep. I don't know where you were there a couple of years ago when you, whether it was a Dane Milovanovic. Dane Milovanovic, yeah. Yeah, mate, yep. I was at one game there. Yep. You played Keelor. Keelor, yep. Keelor and he Keelor played Park. there, right? Keelor yep. Park, at yep. Keelor Park. Yep. I turned up with there with the friends of mine, the Macedonian boys. Yep. And, and I actually said, and, and Dane I know very well yep. from South Melbourne. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and one, of you, one of your guys come and grab me and kiss me on the cheek. You know yep. what? You know what? Just, right. Dane. Next is your goal. The guy heard it. Goal from Dane Miller. He kicked two goals that day. If you... Set pieces. Yes, course. yes, yes. yes. Yep. And yep. he and he scored those two yep. goals. And one of your guys come and kiss me on the cheek because he heard me. <laughs> he heard me. And and one of the boys and is on there right now listening on there. Um, uh, I can't believe it. He was there. And they said, how did you do this, Harry? How did... I just said, because I know, I know him well. Yeah. We call him Dane or Dane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he scored two goals from the corner, that corner down there. Correct. Spot and and they, the guy goes, whack. <laughs> Unbelievable, mate. I've got some kind of power, you know. I don't want to just, but, but that that helped you guys, mate, get right up the top. Yeah, that, that year uh, is that right? Yeah, he, he did a great job for us. He came on board and did a great job, scored some very important you, goals you for us. You couldn't keep him, mate. He, you know, no. popular is in Asia. They keep booking him to play in Asia. Dan has had more clubs than bloody Tiger Woods. So oh, I know exactly. He goes from club to club, hopscotch. Mate, he's he's amazing. Yeah, he's amazing. Frothy. Good boy. Uh, well, uh, look, I just want to say uh, Springvale White Eagles uh, and well, Melbourne no. Victory Jesus had a uh, Christ, game mate. about two, three weeks ago. And um, don't ask me why I went there, Harry. I just went to a neutral uh, game Did you to really? have a bit of a look. And next thing you know, it was on for young and old. It reminded me of the old Preston South Melbourne days, oh, no. uh, Luke Chair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, nothing much came out of it on the media. I had to dig it up to find it. But if that was many, 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 many years ago, mm -hmm. that would have been worldwide news, uh, which proves that back then they didn't want the game to grow. Now they want the game to grow, but it's not growing. Now, if you're in charge, let's say we remove Jimmy. Is Jimmy Johnson still available? Is still, he, he's still... He's, oh, he's mate, still I've got a show? big big thing about him. Did you hear? I'm going to see what happened this week, too. You're going to... Well, it can't be that big. Very surprised, Louis. You're going to be very surprised what now, happened to him. if Jimmy Johnson were to step down and they gave you the money to run the A-League... Oh, God. Would you have any ideas on how to... Well, it, let's be honest, it's all about getting more bums on seats. And that, yep. That's what it's all about, because yep. that will attract sponsors yep. and that will attract better players that come over. Yep. Would you have any ideas on how to improve our A-League? Now, I know Harry doesn't like this uh, subject. I don't like it at all. Do you have anything Slot, you can give I've us? I've got a slight idea. 
Well, run it by us. I'm well. not too sure. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't make too many changes to the A League. Oh. But I'd definitely incorporate and start a B League. Uh huh. And I'd definitely right. incorporate a South Melbourne. I'd definitely incorporate a Heidelberg. I'd definitely mm-hmm. incorporate a Preston Lions. Yes. yes. A Sydney Olympic. A Sydney United. A Melbourne Knights. A Marconi. A Marconi yes. Adelaide City. Adelaide City. And if you want to put bums on seats, that's the massive top tick in the criteria it is, right it is. there. Well, I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you because there's been uh, three times that um, the team... Uh, where are they, Harry? I'll, well, we better not say the name because someone's watching and he's not very happy when no, I mention their name. All. We'll just point to the badge over here. Yep. Apparently that mob made have made three applications for the A-League in the past five years and they keep on getting knocked back. Now, does that... Or does that not prove that they purposely don't want the NSL clubs back playing top flight? Oh, look, I, don't, I can't really answer that, to be honest. I don't know what the reasoning is. They're not allowing South to go back into the A-League. Or... Well, I can answer that for you because they've gone ahead oh, and no. put uh, the Ninjas in there. You get 600 people in there. <laughs> it's got, fantastic. Uh, oh, great, great support there, I mate. mean, really, they've got MacArthur there. I mean, they probably what? get 1,200 people. What? Now, that, that's failed. I mean, yeah, fair enough. The, the Ninjas are firing on all cylinders at the moment, but... Um, Yes, it's a different story whether whether they're a good team and they're they're on top of the ladder and they could quite well win the whole bloody league this year, but nobody bloody goes. I mean, uh, true. It it doesn't look good for TV, first of all. Uh, And I went, uh, well, actually went last Tuesday. uh, Brisbane played uh, victory, nil or draw, which uh, again, uh, yeah, small cup of beer was only about that big. Was nine dollars ninety. Jesus. Now it's it's pretty tough if you're going with a couple of kids. It's ridiculous. And they want a couple of hot dogs, and you've got to stop on the way home at Macca's and feed them again. Yep. And and you know, in your car park, it could could cost you hundred twenty, hundred thirty bucks. Now, uh, look, we know life is expensive. Yep. But uh, at the end of the day, if they're not getting people in there, uh, how about reducing the the entry fee first of all? Uh, okay, the, uh, the, the the food outlets there, the, uh, we know the money doesn't go to the club. Yep. Where it should go to a club, as far as I'm concerned. Yep. The club's playing, the money should stay with the club, like it did many, many years ago. Yep. So, unfortunately, I've created this A-League, uh, which, look, I enjoy it. I, I accept it. Uh, they don't purposely play bad. That's how good our players are here. And I, I actually enjoy watching A-League better than any other league. Yep. Uh, that's just me. But the thing is... Um, they went for this A-League and it's the last four or five years it's failed. We, we as a, a nation for football, are failing. It's not the A-League that's failing. It's true. Correct. It's, we are not uh, investing enough money in the game. Correct. Football in Australia will never be number one. Unfortunately, they won't allow that. No. So we... I've said that. Yeah. So we need to invest money and time. When football in the rest of the world is number one sport in each country... Uh, and here it's number three or four down the pecking order, you're always going to struggle. You so are. Realistically, if you want to improve the game, the footballing game, the brand in, in this country, you need to invest a lot of dollars. Uh, Correct. Will we get that opportunity? I'm not too sure. I hope so in my lifetime. I'd love to see the mm-hmm. game grow. Uh, but have a look at the <clears throat> Australian national team now. Um, what have we got coming through the ranks apart from young Mark uh, Tilio at yep. Melbourne City? Who for me is the next superstar potentially for Australian football. Correct, yes. Uh, like there's not it. much else coming up through the ranks. So how do we expand, uh, improve the game? How do we get more bums on seats, etc.? We need to get back to passion, back to the love of the game, put the right people back in there, get people coming to the game in thousands, not in hundreds. Exactly. Um, and again, this is not, I'm not bad mouthing the A-League, far from no. it. The A-League can grow with this and make it bigger. I mean, 10 years ago, Victory was getting... You know, uh, 50,000 50, the first 000, year, yeah, my exactly God. Exactly right, which is great for the game. They couldn't they keep, to, couldn't keep it going there, Louis. But we need to improve it all the way down through exactly. the ranks. Exactly, that's right. Now, let me just let me just tell you something right now. What did you just mention before about the second division? That, sec, that second division, and I will tell everyone out there right now, everybody says, ah, oh, it's not going to work, it's not going to work. But let me tell well, you guys, well, no, 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 I'll tell you what the story is. I'll tell if, you too. If we don't get that second division, you can all scream as much as you like because if, if, if the Australia get kicked out of the Asian Confederation and we go straight back to Oceania, we are stuffed. Mm. And that's the point. They've made an ultimatum that FIFA said it. You've got to have your second division ready this this year. And James Johnson came out and said it at one of the A-League games. He said it. Oh, it's God. first of all, we've got to get the second division up running before we do any expansion on the A-League. And that's what's happening. And, and the future of the game 
is there because if you don't get that second division done, we're stuffed. And they've said that. We will go back. What do you think of that? If we go back to Oceania, how far back will we go? Will we, will we go, Louis? I think we're already 10 years behind the system. Already? As it is. So if we go back there, we could be could be lights uh, lights out for the game. Back to country. playing New Zealand again and all these bloody okay. island countries. And we're, we're not disrespecting any country. No, at we're all. not. Um, but Australia needs to be in the Asian confederations. That's right. Uh, they need to play against the best teams in the world to improve. Um, and if if that if a B League is required to do that, we need to do that as quick as possible. Why won't uh, I, I don't understand when people say it won't work. We don't have to go full time professional no, from to. the start. Semi professional, work your way up. Again, you need to give a product of entertainment for people to come and watch the game. Correct. Now, how do we go? Uh, how, how do we get this? Is the is the the hard strings? Go back to people that are passionate that love the game. The, the grassroots, who they are, where they've come from, their bloodlines, people. Get the derby games. A Preston South Melbourne would comfortably be Packed. a West United week in, week out in supporter base. And that's not bad mouthing South Melbourne, uh, yeah. West United in any way. But that's the reality of the situation. So um, these derby games are so important. We, we just need to bring people in and get them on the, on the seats and give them a good product to watch. Okay, we've got some things here happening right now. Chris got? Phillip, who's actually uh, one of the Phillip. supporters of um, Preston United, and he was at the game I was at last time I was there. He says, uh, David Gallup, uh, dickhead. <laughs> the who's most Preston United? Of the most issues that Australian football <laughs> currently experiencing. We know that we do know that we did not have a football person in David Gallup there that knew nothing about that game, and he was came from a rugby league background, and this is the problem we've faced for so many years, that we don't have people in there who know the game, who've played the game, who've administered the game. We've had that many administrators, administrators here that are actually ready to go in there, but they're not in there. This is the problem. Uh, but I think James Johnson's doing a good job. I think his well, intention's right. I think he's trying to, get right. to improve the game, definitely. Um, and again, I, I don't know too many people working at FA... But if you can get the right group together, and um, their intention is definitely right. So I'm hoping they can get the gang together and uh, get the game moving. Well, Harry and I spoke briefly uh, yesterday about uh, Jimmy Johnson, and oh, we, we both we agree him. he's we doing a sweet Fantastic FA job. about the game at the moment, mate. <laughs> a great FA they are. I, I, I tell you what, he's... Uh, look, but look, tell me this. What a coincidence. As soon as the A-League started, the crowd started dropping. All of a sudden... The big boys are saying, let's create a second division. Now I can guarantee you this. If the crowds are still there, they wouldn't even bloody talk about a second division. Correct. But Thank you. it's not just about the second division in relation to crowds as well. It's about where do... There's how many teams in the A-League? 12? 12, 12, 12. 12. Okay, so where do all these other footballers grow or become better footballers? There's not enough teams. Not enough not teams. Enough teams. Uh, how do we True. develop footballers for the future of Australian football? Second division, bring Second more teams. Division. That's right. Give an opportunity, exactly. get the young kids. How do we implement that? We go, okay, so example, Preston Lions are in the B League. Every club in the B League must play in their first 11, three players under the age of yes. 18 to start week in, week out. Fair call. A criteria. Yes. Yep. Exactly. So how are we going to develop the footballers? That's one way of developing the footballers. When you give an opportunity and then you go and... Um, Media, you know, either you know, uh, Paramount, wherever the boys are on yep. at the moment, um, you know, you, you put them on SBS, you put them on ABC, where, wherever it might be, you put them in the uh, in, in that light where people are watching you on TV or social right. media, yes. etc. You're going to grow the interest at the moment. Uh, you got to pay for TV to watch a football game. It's ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, I don't agree with it. It's got to be on Nor day to day I. TV and uh, give everybody an opportunity to grow the game as that way. It's uh, yeah. It's uh, I've said this before and I'll say it again. It's quite evident to me that someone up above purposely doesn't want this game to grow here. And it's how ironic. The biggest game in the world. Yes, we know AFL is a great game. Hey, boy, who do you follow in the AFL anyway? Loop Jay? Essendon. Essendon. Oh, well, thank you very much. Well, uh, the colours I'm wearing into. <laughs> well, uh, I follow Hawthorne and oh, uh, very good win today over the very Cats. Lucky. And, oh, uh, mate, mate, honestly. Yes, and uh, my Zach Smith had a bloody shit of a game, I reckon. But anyway, let's get back to the round ball. Now. Uh, but look, uh, yeah, second division, great idea. There's yep. no doubt. I love it. I want it. I hope it works. But I just can't see. Let me tell you. What are you going to tell Let me tell you uh, something that happened last week. What happened? And people are talking about it right now. Well, let's James go. Johnson had information, and at Louis, and he what had information he uh, that the A League teams have been invited to play in a 
Asian Super League. Now they've been asked to go and play. In the, now that would make it very interesting. Well, we are talking about clubs in Asia who will be competing with clubs in Australia. It's got from bad to worse. It's Therefore, no, it. but let me tell you, imagine imagine if a, a Yokohama Marinos, who, who yes, was the, the Yokohama Rangers team, right? And a playing Haraki Sydney Kraken. FC. They're playing every, every, and they're playing the teams throughout Asia, right? Yep. Yep. Can you imagine the Japanese supporters coming here, packing the stadium? Can you imagine people coming over here, playing uh, the Sydney FC people packing the whole stadium? No. What are we talking? You can't see that? No. It's, uh, it's a Champions League example. Um, we can't even get people there. You know, it's, it's hard. At the moment, you can't go to bloody... Uh, you can't go to the States. Some states not even let you in the States with COVID, so forget about right. travelling overseas in that respect. But um, going back to what you said, H, you... Is it a great idea? Possibly a good idea down the track, but at the moment, you need to fix your own backyard before that's what we it is. anything further. Well, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm telling Sunday. Uh, we need to fix our game here on this land... Uh, yes, more people, well, a bit of development, playing juniors more and giving them a go and this yeah. and that and um, before we start looking at other avenues yeah. because it is at the moment, unfortunately, and it hurts. If you're a lover of the game and we are, and obviously you are, yep. it actually hurts when you go there and you see more empty seats than uh, seats with bums on there. Just hang on for a sec, you guys, and I'll, I'll tell you something right now. What have you got for In us? the last few weeks, Louis, and you know this, Manchester United are coming out here Crystal Palace are coming out to play games. Right. I think there's 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 something happening in Sydney as well with Celtic and, and Rangers, Rangers as well, and that sort yes, of stuff. Yes. Now, can you imagine how many people are going to turn up to those games? And we are going, and, and and I think Melbourne Victory are playing Who are Manchester they? United as well, or some, something something like, like that. that as well. yeah. So this is what's going to happen. So if we if we can get teams like that to come out here, and we can fill a stadium, and remember Liverpool a few years back, how packed the yep. MCG was. Yep. My God, man, what is you can see the pattern here. Yep. You can see the pattern that. And I've said this idea too, Louis, that play a pre Premier League game in Australia. Play a Premier League game. Bring it here and play one at least once a year. Well, what are you going to achieve with that? You're going to achieve you're gonna nothing. People, you're going to have, a, you're gonna have a, an A-League team, two A-League teams playing before that game. You're going to have a packed house too for that well, game. Well, that's not going to work. Well, the thing is... Because if it was going to work, it would have happened what already. This? This, they're, they're bringing well, these teams here, to play friendly. The great man's opinion on that. Well, oh. I play his favourite tune. Oh go. no, here we go. The, the, the horn is blown big time tonight. <laughs> um, I think Australian people are starved for football. Yes. Uh, can we bring a Man United here and play a Premier League game? What a great idea it and is. a great uh, spectacle. But it's a one off. How do we, on a consistent basis, get 20, 30, no, the 20,000 people per game? To 20. every game. That's a fair call. 20, 20. I think 20 is a comfortable exactly. number. Absolutely. 20,000 people. Well, the victory got 16,000 members. I went there against well, Brisbane. It was about, like it had been 6,000 people you're there. You're talking about so they're, they're missing. the A-League starting at the be beginning of the season. Yeah. The first year. Uh, was it, Full, what they call it? It had stadium. Yeah. Pack 50,000. Yeah. That's what you fit in there. Yeah. What went wrong? This is the problem. Yeah. Well, there was only a few games, Harry. You make it sound that if every week there was 50,000 victory supporters. But you were talking, no, to Europe, tell me. Two, Gabby. three occasions. Apart from that, they were averaging about 20,000. And mind you, Brisbane, uh, sorry, Queensland is a uh, is a rugby state. They're stuffed. And, and Brisbane were the second most uh, highest attendance there. They had 16,000 people. We know people. that. It's gone. Now, well, it's gone. It's gone everywhere. But the thing is, uh, well, look at last year. Uh, the victory came last, which I predicted, funny enough. And uh, we had Joe Mirabella on. He thought it was on... Uh, a lot of beer. I think I had three. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you, uh, and I predicted they'd come last, and he laughed at me. And uh, all I said to him, I said, well, have you seen your list now, Joe? Mm -hmm. He obviously didn't give me the correct answer. Yeah. But look, let's face it. Look, now, now you, surely, I, I know you're going to agree here. Now, when you get the media, um, you know, calling a player. You know, I hate this because this is an insult to the great man. There's one great man going around now. Well, there's two that are in the same boat. It's Leo Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. They're the two big players these days. Now... They call Marco Rojas the Kiwi Messi. Now, I'll tell you what, whoever came oh, up with that should be shot. <laughs> I mean, he's not even Messi's left drunk <laughs> testicle, mate. Right? I mean, how the hell could they call this guy? He scored a volley about two weeks ago. Well, fair enough. I mean, he scored one. I've never seen him score again. So if he's a Messi, he'll be scoring those every second attempt. Now, you know, if they're going to sit there and, and use these names for our players, it's, it, it's laughable. I mean, really. I think they need to. Well, they might I need to, but to. It, it is a joke. It, it, it's like 
It's like saying that Harry's better looking than Ricky Martin. Well, he's not. I was once. Well, you were once upon a time, well, I suppose. No, but uh, <laughs> look, uh, look. Unfortunately, yeah, the game is uh, it's not attracting a lot of people, and uh, we've seen it in the new teams, the Bulls, the Ninjas, uh, uh, <laughs> Central Coast, and um, for whatever reason, look, it's not working. But having said that, I enjoy the game here. Yeah. Because if you love the game, you'll go and watch, watch it, it. regardless right. how many people go. Because the same thing, if you've got a ten-year-old boy and he's playing under 11s, you know, it's not the best quality you'll see, but you'll go there of because course. you love watching those kids play. Exactly. Now, a 20-year-old, I mean, I'm 46, right? So we're 20 year olds to me as a kid. Yep. So I love to go and watch them play because they don't purposely play bad so we can knock Aussie soccer. Yep. That's as good as they are. Let's stop comparing to overseas. This is where the problem is with supporters here. They say, well, I know, I know some South Melbourne people and say, well, why would you want to go and watch South Melbourne when you can watch Liverpool? Well, go and live in England then. Yeah. If you're so keen on it. I mean, support your club here. And full credit to his mob. They're rocking up it's four It's unbelievable, mate. That's, that that's, is, um, I've never, and, and that doesn't happen in the NBL that, either. Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it on on, on, that, that on, is, the, um, on, on TV. I've seen that it on means the, half yeah. the A-League crowds. It does. Numbers, it does. It does. I mean, last week, I think they averaged about 3,500 in the A-League. I mean, well, that's crazy. Really, that, that's, crazy stuff. That's something to laugh at. You I know? just can't believe it. Now, Louis, we're going to bring on Mr. MPL. This is the guy that reports on the MPL. Yep. So you'd be interested to hear what's... And you probably know what's going on in the MPL at the moment too, eh? But today well, was a big, big shock tonight. Hopefully Cannon's well, defeated I, him. I don't think you Gav will be up to it, mate. Uh, <laughs> okay. Because uh, South Melbourne lost tonight, Harry. And um, I, don't, I don't think Gav will probably want to come on, maybe. I don't know. We'll I'll ask him, him to come him on. Shot. Let's see how we go. See what it. happens. But anyway, you guys, you and, guys uh, talk together while I get him on. Well, we can talk together now. I suppose now in the A-League, um, is there a team that... Uh, look, if you've got an offer from any A-League team to coach, which team would be your preference? Oh, that's a good question. Um, and don't say the victory because I did look after you, really. I mean, they, they paid you, but they didn't even get bloody game to Barca, did they? <laughs> uh, if I'm being uh, pretty honest, which I, I'm pretty straightforward. The Brisbane Roar, obviously, that's right. Western Sydney Wanderers. Western Sydney uh -huh. Wanderers. The red, the red and black, mate. Red and black. No, oh, is that why? No, it's uh, the passion of the supporters. Yes, that's when true. When they get things right, is incredible. So, well, you that's what are... brings me to... Uh, it gives me the attention. To yeah, that club. you're spot on because when they are playing better than anyone else, yep. their their fan base, their supporters, their barricades, let's call them whatever you yep. like, they are bigger than a victory. Yeah, the are. noise they make, the passion, yep. the flares, the, the stabbings, the the murders. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'm exaggerating here. Well, back in the old days, you had all that. Uh, well, you went the game back in 1991, Preston oh, South no. Melbourne to the big. I better ball. get him on real quick. Were you actually of there? Of course, of course. I, I copped a brick on the head that day. Mr. Yeah. MPL's coming on, boys. That's why I've it's... got a bit funny. And, uh... well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Who's from the South? Mr. Mr. MPL, are you there? Hello. Who's on there? Mr. Hello. MPL. Hello. Yeah, Mr. MPL's gone. He's on, guys. Is that Mr. Hello. MPL? Can you hear him there, Louis? Yes, I can. <laughs> you got Louis, the coach of, uh, the coach of uh, Preston Lions on tonight, Gavin. There you go. Hi, Steve. Huh? Yes. How you going? Hey, Gavin. How are you? Good, mate. Yeah, not bad yourself? Yeah, good, good. I've got a, a musician good, next yeah. to me here. Yes, yes. I, yeah, uh, no, no, Froffy's making his, his trumpet, mate, going on. Hey, hey Gav, listen. <laughs> Gavin? Yes, Froffy. Yes. Gotta tell, I've got to tell Gav a secret. The uh, mm. loop chair can't hear me now. Oh, uh, no. South okay. Melbourne, South okay. Melbourne lost I'm tonight. With them. This should be good. Uh, yes, South Melbourne lost tonight, and um, we're, we're we are all suffering along with our mate loop chair here. But oh, um, yes. you think they might <laughs> offer him a job there, mate? What do you think? Oh, mate, hey, Poss hey, it's possibility. Exactly. Well, best of one. But, you know, you wouldn't want to work for our board anyway. Trust me, mate. They're, they're not worth nothing. Trust me. Well, I'm glad Why Mr. Not? MPL said that, not us. Why because I'll tell you what, if I had said that, uh, some, a gentleman by the name of Tony, I won't mention his surname. Please don't. He would have come in with a bloody gun and killed me. Exactly. He loves you. He, sure. Yep, uh, Tony. <laughs> you now, Gavin, Gavin, have we had some uh, very uh, big upsets this week at the MPL? I know yes. we had one today. That was a big one. Um... Yeah, well, you know, it's been an interesting round. Um, like, um, started on Thursday night. It's like Monday. Yes. Um, because of Easter, and it's just like losing track of days because the holiday and stuff. But I hope you've all had a good Easter and stuff, good holidays. And yes. Enjoyed your time off and stuff. Like, um, yeah, because the round started Thursday, mm -hmm. like Monday now, so it's like four days ago. Uh, Knights uh, beat uh, Eastern Lions 3-0. Um, I actually went through this game. 3 I went through this game. Yeah, why would you want to do that yeah, for? Yeah, 3-0. I was working, actually, Froppy, as you know, mate. Oh, you're still so, cleaning the toilets so, in, are you, so, so, Gavin... Still, he, he's oh, the, it's the thumb street, mate, exactly. <laughs> so have they got toilets here these days, have they? Oh, 
Oh, mate, I always use a toilet out the back fence, mate, along the wing there, oh. behind the behind the commentary box, mate. That's where <laughs> my toilet was in Summer Street, mate. The old NSL days, remember? Behind that tree, that, that yeah, tree's still there, the quarry, it? mate. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Sit through the quarry fence, mate. Oh, no. So we, we are talking here, Eastern Lions are going to be on their way out this year, is that right? Oh. We're talking wow, about them. yeah. Look, yeah, you know, is. Eastern Lions, um, they, they're well organised. They have a dip. They have a go. Um but they've just got nothing going forward. They've got no quality up front whatsoever in the final third. Like, you know, they're just relying on, like, corners, free kicks, no. just, like, set pieces. Like, you know, like, credit to them. They're battling. They try hard, but they just haven't got any real quality up front to really break the teams down and, and, and do the crucial thing on, in a football game and score a goal. One thing I'll ask just, you, Louis, is that do you go to these games or do you, you, you go to some of these games? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I do what, have, teams. what have you seen of, of, of the NPL this year? It's a good, good footballing teams. Um, Avondale is a very good footballing team. I've watched them play. They play some really good, exciting football. Um, obviously, South Melbourne got off to a really good start, and um, a few young boys coming through the ranks. And you know, Eastern Lions. I, I watched them a couple of times this year. They're a team that just battles and doesn't give up for ninety-five minutes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but it is difficult. Gab's right. In the final third, um, it's difficult for them to score goals and. Uh, they will definitely fight uh, relegation or in that in that system, you know, this season. Gavin, any any more clubs that you would have seen uh, scores? Um, I, I that was oh, that was the one game I went to. I um, watched South and um, Oakley tonight on the NPL stream. Yep. Like um, I was I, I was going to go, but just I didn't want to. Like you know, as you know, I live out you know Western suburbs yes, and yes. drive all the way over the other side of town on bloody Easter Monday and battle the traffic on the way home. I was just like. I mean, brother didn't want to go either, so I was like, "Oh, I don't want to go by myself." So it was like, "No, I'll just stay home." So what did you so find just... on what did you find on the game tonight? Uh, yeah, I thought the first half was really good, end to end. Um, some good goals. Like Oakley took the lead after about eighteen minutes. Um, good finishing out the box. I'm not sure the guy's name. I can't remember his name. Um, but it was really good. Like I thought, the first half we played well. I thought we created some good chances. Um, we defended well. It was a real contest in the in the first half. It was a really good game to watch. Um, we scored, we we ended up equalising Mark Schroen, nice okay. goal from outside the box, nice little, nice finish, nice little build up as well. But then the second goal we conceded was a little bit disappointing because um, Oakley all night, every time they won a corner, because we've got the you know big centre halves, um, they were they were they were delivering like short corners into the near post, okay. constantly flat and short, low, with pace on them. Uh -huh. And um, they did like three times. And then on the fourth occasion uh, we we still didn't put anyone on the on the near post. The keeper was still standing in the middle of the bot in the middle of the goal, and they've whipped in a, they've whipped it in again from the this is the fourth time they attempted this, and the bloke's just the Oakley guy. I'm not sure who it was. He just got front position, got a little touch on it, and then bang right in the corner, in the, just in the near post, and the, it was just like yeah, you could just see it happening because they were just doing it constantly, constantly every time they got a corner. You know what I mean? Like it was for shady, it? slightly disappointing yeah, yeah. that we just didn't didn't react to that. And didn't try and deal with it well, in a way where we could try and counteract it. You know what I mean? Gavin, like, Gavin now, one thing was the, the crowd there. Now you know that Matthew Fashini was playing, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, what was he? What was he like out there? Oh, you know, he's just Matthew Fashini. You know what I mean? Like he was. Uh, I noticed him second half. He was uh, mouthing off to the crowd and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, waving his fingers and pointing it at the ba Oakley badge and all this oh, shit to the no, south, to, to our fans and stuff. You know what I mean? Like. And I was like, Come you know, on. whatever, mate. You know what I mean? If Chris Dale was still with us. You'd be still playing with us, mate. So you can say whatever you want. I don't care. What was you know what I mean? Like, was saying earlier that you said that... That's um, football. You know what I mean? I what's his name me. playing? People do that. The, the, the striker from uh, South... I mean, you said you recognised yeah, him. apparently I saw Lewich. Lewich uh, is Lewich there playing for him or what? No, nah, Milos, he's, he's, I don't know what's going on with Milos these days. Last time I heard he was playing State 1 or State 2 at Mornington. Well, Spring, I tell you what, I... Spring Bell White Eagles. That was a while ago, oh, but... Yeah, uh, well, he's got a double there, Gab. It's, yeah, it's, well, second half, I thought we played. It was a good even contest as well, second half. It just lacked a bit of quality in the second half. Like, we didn't really create any chances at all. We had a bit, we had a lot of possession. We just couldn't create nothing in the final third. I don't think we had a shot on target in the, in the second half at all, you know what I mean, to be honest. Like, that was slightly disappointing. We weren't desperate enough in my mind either. We weren't busting our gut with 10, 15 minutes to go to push forward, put pressure on Oakley, pile numbers into the box, and just try and make something happen, force something to happen. 
You know what I mean? Just so, anything. You know what so I mean? what just, was? It just didn't happen. Did you did you hear anything? With, were they were they interviewing Pablo Escobar after the game or what? Pablo Escobar? No, nah, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Pablo Escobar. <laughs> That's his they name, didn't interview Pablo Escobar. Uh, Esteban after the game. Pablo like, Escobar. I, yeah. I just I just went home actually because I was at my brother's watching it on the stream, so I just. What uh, after the fight, whistle, I just came home. I didn't watch it. Bar, I didn't see nothing. <laughs> they don't, they don't, with these streams, Harry, they don't do replays of the goals. They don't, they don't do, do that, replays they don't do of that, yeah. any main incidents. Uh, and they don't usually do interviews or anything after the game either. They just so uh, have the commentators um, give their summary yeah. of the game. And then, and then that's it. You know just, what I mean? Like, just remember but it was the first to, yeah. time I watched it this year on the new stream because Last year, they had it on YouTube. Oh, no. uh, this year, they've gone to a, a new streaming uh, platform, new streaming company. And that was the first time I, I watched it this year because I don't have a smart TV at home like, mm -hmm. and I can't connect the internet to it. So if I want to watch it, I have to watch it on the, on the desktop computer, which I don't really like doing. So that's why I went to my brother's and watched it with him. And um, so, yeah, it was all right. I can't, I'm not like, it's good. It's a good thing. Like, uh, as far as I know, they do NPL free games as well. Is that correct? Like Preston and stuff yep. there. Yep. Like, like, yeah. So um, it's good. It's good for all supporters. If you can't well, make the game, you want and you want to watch it. It's good. Now this is this is something right now. One of the Preston supporters here, uh, Louis. Interesting mm. from Chris Philippou. Harry, promote the game this Friday. Preston versus play Melbourne Victory under twenty threes. Massive crowd expected. There you go. Even your well, own supporters. Well, I'm sorry. Your I'm... own supporters, Louis. There you go. Well, I like to go to a game, and I want to get home safe. <laughs> oh, no, don't go. No, no it's not about the Preston supporters. It's about those victory supporters. So, under, under, so under, 20, under 20... I can't talk anymore, mate. I'm losing... I've got to lose... Oh, 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 I need some tablets here. Oh, right, carry on, mate. Carry on, mate. Oh, I'm on the stream, mate. I, I tell you, now... You're playing under twenty threes. So how does that work? Is that is that a development squad? Your development mm. squad as well? No, we that's our senior team. So we've got yeah. Melbourne Victory, Western United, and Melbourne City in our league. Yes. So they're youth youth teams that oh, okay. uh, play their games. They play in our league. So, uh -oh. yep, we play Melbourne Victory Friday night at BT Connor Reserve, eight thirty kickoff, and we're expecting a bumper crowd. So, Amazing. gents, love to see you there. Yeah, we'd love. So to that's be this Friday. This Friday night. Actually, we could. Uh, well, Harry, um, yeah, um, I'm not going to be there, won't I? I'm going to be in well, Brisbane. Louis, well, well, can I just ask you a quick question? You'll be there. Right. Sure. Um, how do you, as a coach in NPL three, how do you find coaching against these youth teams from the A League? Do you find it like uh, a benefit to your players and your club? Or do you find it like a hindrance and they shouldn't be there? Like, what's your opinion on that situation? Oh, look, the the A-League clubs, obviously, the young boys, they train, you know, four or five times a week. They're there basically full time. So they're sharp, they're quick, they're, they're, the coaching's really good at these clubs. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy to coach against them or play against them as, mm. as players. Is it? Uh, does it hinder the competition? I don't believe so. Um, mm -hmm. The young boys need to play games. They need to play... Uh, against the best opposition they can. Uh, I think mm -hmm. we had a conference or a Zoom meeting about a year and a half ago when, when the, there was a rumour about chucking the, the three clubs up from West United, Melbourne City and Melbourne Victory to the uh, top MPL, top M MPL one, um, mm -hmm. to play against the best competition. But look, they need to come out and, and win our league and, and get right. promoted on, on merit. Uh, Correct. And then go through the ranks because... Um, what are we teaching the young boys? If, if we're just going to push them up to NPL 1 and put everything on, on a plate for them, that's not the way to teach them. You need to teach mm. oh. how to win games and why to win games and, and, and the rest mm -hmm. of it, the mentality, the psychological aspect of the game. So, um, Correct. you know, I think it's great for, for those clubs. I think it's good for our clubs, uh, but it definitely makes it more difficult, um, you know, because if, example... Uh, we play Melbourne Victory Friday night. They could potentially <laughs> drop three, four, five senior players yeah, yeah. into that team, which will make it very, yep. very difficult. Um, mm -hmm. like, does that happen often with, like, say, West United, Melbourne City, Melbourne Victory, where you've got like that? Like, you never have an established A League player playing for the under the NPL free team. You know what I mean? But you might get some kid who's training with the senior squad, who's maybe made mm -hmm. one or two appearances with the senior squad. For an A League team, as in Western United, Melbourne Victory, Melbourne City, and then drop back. Does that happen very often, or yeah. are they all just like 18, 19 year old kids who are just basically still learning the game at senior level? No, it happens on a week to week basis. I, I went to watch Western United versus Melbourne City a couple of weeks ago at uh, City Vistas Ground, and Western United uh -huh. had young uh, Chris Thea Harris, who mm -hmm. was in Germany in the Bundesliga 12 months ago. Yes. So 
He played in, he uh, played in this game and Noah yep, fair Noah, enough. Noah Bottic, Bottic who's yes. the next superstars at number nine, Nobody. played for yes. Manchester United. So, you know, these clubs are playing these uh boys that are not getting much senior games and I understand yeah. the reasoning behind it. Um uh, is it fair? I don't believe it is fair because mm. it's either they're gonna be part of the youth squad or part of the senior squad. But mm. uh-huh. that's the way um they've gone with the leagues and uh we uh-huh. as other clubs outside the A League, we try our best to um, get a result against them. Yeah, correct. And I, I understand where you say where you say like, is it fair? Is it not fair? But in some ways, I think that's a good thing because they should treat NPL three or NPL two or whatever league they're in with the respect it deserves, and try and help these kids who are battling their guts out, trying to make a career in the game for themselves. Give some, give them one or two blokes with a bit of experience, teaching the game, understand the game better because. You know, as you would know as a coach, it's much better to have an experienced head out there alongside them, pointing them in the right direction, telling them what to do, than, than, um, than be you being on the sideline trying to bark instructions to them you know, during the game. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, that, that plays a massive part. If you can get a few experienced heads in those lineups and helping the younger kids develop, it's phenomenal. You don't get that opportunity in many clubs. So, you know, if you go watch the, the A-League teams in our competition... They play some really good, uh, a really good brand of football. Exciting. They move mm. the ball with purpose and uh, some ball speed mm-hmm. and some really good youngsters coming through the ranks. It's just not enough clubs mm-hmm. um, giving the opportunity to these young boys That's to play right. right. at a certain level. Yeah, well, they, they, these A League clubs, you know, they've got the best youngsters in Victoria. You know what I mean? Like, and and we get left of everybody else pretty much. You know what I mean? Like, because if you're a six, sixteen year old kid in Melbourne City or Western United or Victory comes here or 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 us or or you, Preston, or whatever other NPL club you want to mention, who are you going to choose as a 16-year-old kid? Of course you're going to choose the A-League because that's where you want to be. That's what you want to do. You want a professional footballer. You want to play at the highest level. Yeah. So they get the best talent. <laughs> Sorry, you know what I mean? So uh, that's why I say about... I fall asleep when I hear that name. Yeah. Sorry, Gav, I fell asleep. No, mate. So that's so that's why I say victory. about... They give them a chance to develop instead of um, being, you know, mid-table, bottom of the table, fighting relegation NPL free. Give them a chance, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. to develop a bit and and get that experience and and get the... and Because give, give uh, 90% of those kids will never make the A-League. They just get mm. chopped and end up in NPL a couple of years later, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's just my opinion anyway. Yeah, agreed. Well, Gavin, we've got to finish up tonight. We're just about... Well, can to... I say one more thing before one we go? One more thing, that's right, yes. Uh, Gav, uh, our good friend here, Loop J, he's going um, <laughs> he's gonna to give us some free tickets to go along on Friday night. Oh, you I and me, mate. I can't, I can't make it. So, mate, mate, I'm out, mate. Forget it, mate. you come in or guys, mate. You, nah. What, just me and mine, I'll get killed. I need some security, you know, mate. You know, I tell you... It's what, all right, mate. It's okay. Now, Thank you, uh, before we go, I... I we know these guys. Be rude, but I'm around. I'm out, mate. So Thank these you. are these are the Melbourne Victory under twenty threes, right? Yes. How many of the supporters yeah. are going to let into the ground? Is what I want to know. Because well, none you know of them, Harry. The no, they're all banned. You know, they're all banned. They're all banned. No really? Like, no Victory supporters allowed to go. Oh, thank all God. All Springvale thank White God. Eagles. Are- Thank God. Well, thank that God. means I'm they going. Have I have Thank God for that. I was going to say, geez, they're going to keep doing this. And I tell you what, Louis, a few years ago at South Louis. Melbourne, did you see them? Did you see them jump the fence? Did you see that vision where they jumped? The, and you were there, Gavin. You you were there yeah. too. Yeah, uh, we yeah, were yeah, there. Yeah, 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 they, they, um, yeah, they jumped it's, the it's fence on the side. Just, I can't believe it. These people don't care. These people don't care about football. Don't care about the game. It's coming. They care about their own agenda. That's all they care about. That's I'm it. I'm glad. I'm um, thank God they're gone. I'll tell you what. That's a thing. Well, Gavin, thank well, you for joining us tonight, Mr. NPL. All right, guys. Good talk to you. And and thanks, uh, thank you for, for having uh, Louis here with you as well. That's right. Now we're going to finish the song. We're going to finish this, Louis. Thank you for joining us. Hang around. Hang around with party time to finish up the game. We'd like to thank Louis. As, uh, say, uh, Louis tonight, guys, for joining us <laughs> from <laughs> Preston. Louis from Preston. Where I'm yes. losing it now. I've got this. Yes, and uh, Louis, there's no doubt in my mind that if you got off on a contract to coach the A League, I tell you what, we might as well stick the badge on you right now, mate. Oh, there you no, go. The no, no, no. I confirm <laughs> Louis's a new Brisbane oh, coach. Your president is watching that right now. Hope not. Move over, Warren Moon, whatever your name is, because you're doing a bloody yes, guys, crap tonight, job. In two weeks' this time, we're back because to see. Because I'll tell you what, you let go of uh, D- D- Denzel Wenzel Hall's apparently. Now, they let him go. Now, he's sorry, and all bloody similars of Western United. Now, now listen, to John Eloise is not some superstar st- now because he's got players. So, he's so been a good coach. Got to be strong. Oh, we should have no, right on. from the top. Hello, and John. when you feel <laughs> the heat, the world is at. Good night, guys. We thank Lou for joining us tonight. The Preston Lions coach. Good luck this week with Melbourne Victory. We'll see you guys in 
two Melbourne weeks. Victory. We've got Steve Pantolini's coming on in two South weeks. Melbourne. Good night, guys. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hi right, guys, Harry Sunday here, letting you know that there's a apparel company that supports the game that you love. It's called There Is Only One Football.com. Guys, they've got all sorts of stuff from caps, t shirts, water bottles, all sorts of accessories, even for your mobile phone. All that sporting stuff you can wear anywhere you want to wear it, guys. That's right. And don't forget the website it's on There Is Only One Football.com. Frothy's back with me. Frothy, what's happening with these shirts, uh, mate? Can you look, tell me what's happening yeah, right shut now? Shut up. Let me talk. Oh, now, bloody listen, hell, mate. We have, uh, we have these great tops here. Yes. Now, uh, it, well, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a two-minute show tonight, I believe. So uh, yes. we're back in town, but we'll be we are. officially back in town on That's Monday right, yeah. with yep, some yep, major yep. announcements. And, uh, start again. Announcements. Yes. Can you spell announcements, can you? Announcements. Can you spell that? Uh, I, I can't spell well, it all. Well, it for next time. Now, let's go through the tops. Now, That's these right. yep, tops, yep, yep, yep. Uh, well, if you were born 400 years ago, you'd know about these tops. So we've got the great St. George here, I believe. No, 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 no. Brisbane Lions, Sorry mate. Bris that. Brizzy, Brizzy Lions, Bri Bri Brizzy Lions mate. And we've got South Melbourne Hellas there. No, uh, Fitzroy United, yeah, Fitzroy you're telling me, Fitzroy United. Uh, this one's Inter Monaro, is it? Inter Monaro. No, that's uh, St. George Budapest. St. George, yes, the Hungarians. Yeah, uh, the Hungarians, mate. And over mate. to my right, which is your right as well, are we still yes. on? Yes, we're still on, we're of course. On. We're still on, well, mate. Over yes. here, we've got the great Sydney Olympic. Uh, and I know the cat has probably ordered a couple of Oh, those. he's got a couple of hundred, mate. Well, I'll tell you why he's ordered a couple. Uh, I had a chat with uh, Peter Raskopoulos during the week. Oh, he hates his guts. And mm. he said to me, Peter Catholos, a cat, has ordered two because his gut's so bloody big, he needs two jumpers. Really? One. So, well, look, that's only a joke. Cat, oh, my think? God, mate. Uh, well, look, also, Canberra, what's this? Canberra City. Canberra City. You know, uh, you know who catched them? Uh, yes. Uh, In 1977? Uh, Frank jo Garrock. Johnny it? Warren. Uh, Johnny Warren. No. <laughs> The laugh on mate everywhere. I told you so, Johnny Warren said. Uh, I doubt we sell many because how many supporters did they have? That's beside the point. Also, we got uh, Hokoa up there. The uh, that's great, right, uh, of course, of course. Uh, Brazilian uh, heritage, are they? Yeah, Brazilian. <laughs> well, yeah, a lot of them escaped well, to Brazil. We'll leave it at that. And uh, and the great Marconi. Marconi. And let's go through them. Uh, great quality. Of course. They fit nicely. Uh, they are cheap. You know what? They're too bloody Seventy five dollars. Seventy five bucks is plus, not even eighty bucks. Plus postage and handling. Uh, plus postage and handling. And our great friend with uh, David Ben and uh, yes. Arrow Sports. Arrow Sports together. Yes, there is only, and then, guys, you can buy them on. There is only well, one you can keep football. Going. I'll play the great South Melbourne tune. <laughs> there is only one football. We can get it from. There is only one football.com football, in conjunction with Arrow Sport. You can also buy fantastic yes, uh, kits uh, for your teams as well yes. at Arrow Sport. And they're working together to bring you these fantastic yes, 1977 are, are. Phillips one, League. Of course, you're bloody on frothy. Yep. And of course, yeah. guys, 1977. Yes, 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 these yes, shirts yes. are fantastic. You've got the other ones at $150, which are the well, original digs. $150. Yes, but, and then you've got the sublimated uh, ones yes. at, a, at $75, guys. So, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And can I just say, I, I yes. suppose it's uh, not appropriate to say this. Uh, but my team had a win on the weekend. Uh, yes, they did. Well, on the weekend, a couple of days ago. So so they're flying. And um, I'll tell you what, it's pretty much it. Now, are we going to sing a song just to uh, 
Uh, well, I can't. The, we can't. We, we can't actually. Sing, we, we can't actually sing a song tonight no, because well, we're just doing matter. the. Uh, we'll, uh, we're just doing the show tonight. Well, that's we'll all. Just advertising the jumpers. That's right, guys. Um, where are you get them from? Uh, there is only uh, one football. That's the one there. Um, Say, so guys. Thank you, guys. Get these fantastic shirts right now because you will never find them. Good night, guys. Thank you for joining us. See you in a couple of days' time. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Days, get on Arrow on Sport. Monday, you know. Arrow Sport. There's only one football.com. We have Paul Wade on Thank Monday, you, guys. See you. Uh, bye bye. Thank you. It's going to be summer we're going to have. That's it, footballers.